So there's a pattern that I've been seeing for some time now and it's that the British press lie about something Harry and Meghan allegedly did that is to distract people or gauge people's reaction or even inspire ridicule and vitriol and then days later you see them saying that Kate and William did the exact same thing. Well I'm very sure that these people are just lying when it comes to Harry and Meghan that is to make people start criticizing Harry and Meghan saying why did Harry and Meghan do this because if they know very well that it wasn't Harry and Meghan that did that it was William and Kate do you remember the other time like two months ago when, when they were lying about Meghan going to nightclubs and then merely two days later we saw a video of William dancing in a nightclub yet there was no evidence of Meghan being in a nightclub but as we saw there was evidence of William dancing in a nightclub. So you know these people actually they love lying so much and even the other day they were saying how Meghan had gone to the Taylor Swift concert but there was no evidence of that. You know if Meghan appears somewhere be rest assured that at least one person will take a picture of Meghan. Megan may or may not have attended the Taylor Swift concert and I think that if she did then it's good for her. She is enjoying her life. But the point is once you see a totally random rumor about Harry and Meghan wait and watch as something parallel will likely to be written about the other royals soon. So after that story about Meghan being seen at or attending the Taylor Swift concert there was a story about Kate going to a festival. Here is the article and it read that Princess of Revs, Kate's first festival. Well, it's quite funny to me how the media keeps making Kate look like she is doing something. Well, I'm not sure if Kate had gone to this party or not, but the fact that they keep making it look as though Kate is someone so important and now even calling her Princess of Revs is just something else. And they were saying how after Prince William was seen dancing at the London's nightclub with his old marker guy Pelly in June, Kate is said to have gone raving herself. And they were saying how Kate is understood to have made her first ever visit to a music festival at the weekend and albeit a very upper class one. And you know, it's very interesting whom Kate had gone to this festival with because this article says that she was dining with her Norfolk neighbors, the Marquis and Marchioness of Chamley, David and Rose. You remember Rose Hanbury, right? The one who's alleged to be having an affair with William. And it said that after dinner, one of the guests suggested that Catherine go to the festival a source told the male. And Catherine was nervous about the idea but after much discussion with her protection officers, she went with lots of security and William wasn't there. Well, it's very, it's very interesting how these people put it and I'm guessing that Kate is learning how to keep her enemies very close. Because why is Kate hanging out with Rose? I think this just a repeat of history like we've seen this before right when Camilla used to hang out with Diana and then they'd pretend as though they were friends but in real sense we know what was happening behind those closed doors and they even continued to say that a Kensington Palace spokesperson declined to comment on this story so it's not clear why William did not join his wife well, I'm not sure if Kate uh, went to this event or not, but according to me, I'm actually thinking these people are trying to kill off these rumors. They're trying to kill off the rumors that William and Rose have an affair. Because if they keep up with this narrative, seeing how Kate had gone out with Rose and her husband, then it would make people start saying uh, maybe Rose is a friend to Kate and maybe there's nothing between William and Rose, right? I think that's what these people are aiming to achieve. They are aiming to destroy these rumors. Well, I'm not sure if Kate attended the event or not, but 
This is just my own opinion. If she did, if she truly was with these people, then it's just her keeping her enemies very much close. And if she didn't, it's just a strategy by the palace to protect William and still um, make, or make these rumors go away. So last September, the Marquis was replaced as Lord Great Chamberlain after the death of Queen Elizabeth. However, the king made sure that the Marquis aka filmmaker David Rock Savage did not lose his intimate connection with the monarchy and in March it was reported that the king handed the Marquis a new position that would see him and his wife that is Rose Hanbury returning to the heart of the royal court. Well I actually think there's just a lot of secrets going on in the royal family and they just are try to cover that all up by giving people positions. If they see as though you have a lot of information of in the inside of the royal family, they give you something so that you can just be quiet. Look at what they did to Andrew Parker Bowles. You have seen the way that the royal family have made him very close to them. He's just being treated very well and you've seen that they even said Andrew Parker Bowles goes on engagements on behalf of the royal family. And another article had even stated that Camilla is joined at the hip with Andrew Parker Bowles. So if that doesn't tell you something, I actually think these people just try to cover up most of their secrets by giving these people who know a lot concerning the royal family something so that they can shut up. And I think it's the same for these quiz, that is Rose Hanbury's husband. Well, that is just my own opinion. And it's even said that the king appointed the Marquis as his lord-in-waiting, a prestigious position that would see him attend important state and royal occasions, as well as being called upon to represent his majesty at various events. Do you see that? This man has been given a very good position, and I think this would just make him very quiet, even if it was anyone else, I think they would just be quiet even if they know a lot of secrets because they've been given something that would occupy them and that's something that would make them happy. And then the article went further to give details about Rose Hanbury and David's marriage, stating how many children they had, when they got married, all those details. Well, I'm very sure that this is just something to... Uh, blind people it was just something to make people say oh so rose and her husband are neighbors to kate and william kids she has a husband she got married in 2009 so probably she has nothing to do with william and kate but you know what i think this is just something to make people not see what is actually going on this was just a story to a kill off the rumors because I actually think Kate did not go to this concert or whatever. This was just a story to kill off the rumors. Nothing such as a festival ever happened. I'm very sure that they just saw this. People had said that Megan had gone to the Taylor Swift concert. So they decided to come up with something to say that Kate had also gone to a music festival. And, these, and they decided to include Rose Hanbury with her husband saying how they were good friends with the king and Kate and her husband. So I just think this whole thing is too convenient. I think this story was too convenient and to blind people from seeing what is actually going on. Either way, I just think these people come up with articles about Harry and Meghan doing this, doing that, so that it can serve as a distraction before they decide to release these articles about William and Kate. I just think it's very dumb to be using Harry and Meghan as distraction and trying to project the things that are happening in Kate and William's marriage onto Harry and Meghan. The things that are even happening in William and Kate's life onto Harry and Meghan's. You can see that Harry and Meghan are busy, are busy doing their work, they're busy raising their kids and just living their life. And if William and Kate are having problems, then they should not keep projecting that on Harry and Meghan because Harry and Meghan are just so far away. And I'm very sure that Harry and Meghan are very happy in their marriage. They're doing great. 
And there's no going to nightclubs or sleeping in hotels, as the media would love to tell you. The people who are sleeping in hotels and having problems in their marriage are William and Kate. Because the way Harry and Meghan behave when they're together, you can see that they keep holding hands. They just show affection unto each other. But I've never seen William and Kate do that. In fact, William always avoids doing that. He doesn't want to hold Kate's hand. He doesn't want to be affectionate towards his wife. So every little bad thing that these people keep saying about Harry and Meghan or saying Meghan did this or Harry did, did that without any proof, just know that that is a complete lie. These people love to project a lot and they do that just to protect these other royals. They are always willing to go above and beyond just to protect these other royals. Well, that is just my thought concerning this. I don't know what you think. Do you think Kate actually attended this festival with Rose and her husband? Or do you think this was just something fake to make it look as though Kate has a relationship with Rose Hanbury and with her husband? What do you think about it? Let me know what your thoughts are and then I'll see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye. Thank you.